Hello there. Welcome back to the Nerd Academy podcast, your source for nerddom news and commentary. Uh, as I said before, trying to get better doing trailer reactions. So we are here yet again for a trailer reaction for season three of The Mandalorian. Very excited. Uh, our buddies over at the Bombad cast, along with one Connor Chiquiti, are live right now. Pardon me. Uh, and after we watch this here trailer, I'm going to be hopping over there to do some trailer talk with them uh, while Scotty is certainly screaming, yelling, crying, pissing, and shitting over this trailer. But now we're going to watch it here together. So Mando season three, let's go. Oh, man, I'm already so in. No snuggle buddies. Whoa, Coruscant! Whoa. Oh! Oh, man, more Order 66. We're probably going to see who saved Grogu. <laughs> hey, hey! Ooh. Damn! Grogu beating these guys up. Okay, so this is fascinating. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna hop around here for a little bit. Do 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 a little trailer talk as we do here because it's not just reactions because I don't think that's substantive enough. Uh so first thing, this has been talked a lot, talked about a lot up to this point. The running through line of the of, of Navarro flourishing more and more and more the longer Grief Karga actually take his takes his job as magistrate seriously is a lot of fun. Um nice little Kawaki and monkey lizard there. I also love because we saw the statue of IG eleven before, and now we see that he is standing upon a bunch of uh Stone stormtrooper helmets, which I think is a lovely, lovely touch, uh, showing his heroism and bravery uh, in his episode. This is probably Mandalore Dark Horse prediction, real quick. I'm going to say Camino just for fun. It's definitely Mandalore, but I'm saying Camino as a dark horse there. A lot of people keep talking about how they think that the central conflict is going to be Bo-Katan v. Din Djarin. I do not think that is the case. I think this is going to be uh, Din Djarin and Bo-Katan v. the Armorer and the Children of the Watch. And this is continuing to uh, yeah, lend itself towards my prediction there. Um, Man, I love that we're spending so much time back on Coruscant. I'm curious to see why, uh, oh, his name escapes me, why Connor <laughs> is on Coruscant. I love the, the lip service of the Proto helmet that was used for Boba Fett back in the day, which is really cool. Now, this is also really fascinating to me. Uh, first of all, we could get another uh, appearance of Hayden at playing a pre-suit Vader, which is fun. Love to have Hayden back. Uh, I think we're finally going to find out who saved Grogu's life. And I'm very excited to see what Jedi they're going to pick to have done that. 
You know, it really could have been anybody. Um, so seeing this is just, you know, very much whetting the appetite uh, for that specific mystery to come through. We have a Mandalorian fighter here. Those uh, gauntlet bad boys. Let me see in Rebels and Clone Wars. In this droid shop, we got some B1s here, which is exciting. I think this is where we're going to meet Babu Frick. I think that's that DJ dude from uh, Galaxy's Edge there. And again, the fact that we see all these Mandalorians here, the thing that makes me curious is that it looks like Paz Vizsla, who we know is staunchly affiliated with the Children of the Watch. Um, but like we see in the very beginning, you know, Din talking to all those Mandalorians, you know, like we're scattered, oh, we're scattered like uh, stars across the galaxy. That is such a banger line. Uh, and I'm very curious to see how that manifests in, again, I, I, I'm very much of the belief that he will become not only, he will transcend the title of the Mandalorian that we know him as, and he will become the Mandalore by the end of this story and will reunify Mandalorian culture. And uh, seeing this slurry of different Mandalorians, especially at the beginning, is also incredibly exciting. Um, whoa, wait a minute. Is that Sabine? I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to slow this down a bit. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, so that's not Sabine. She just has a red helmet. Also, the the Mando stuff between this and Book of Boba Fett, they love killing some Nikto. Get your ass beat by the baby. It's lovely. Man, this is super exciting. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm going to be hopping on Bombadcast here in a second. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, we will be back uh, in the content game here pretty soon. Going to be operating uh, back in operation, that is. Uh, talking Bad Batch, uh, talking Secret Invasion, obviously talking week to week The Mandalorian. Um, very soon, Connor and I are going to be guesting on uh, The Clone Zone with Star Wars Explained, Alex and Molly Damon. Uh, that'll be February 1st. Uh, go check out other Star Wars stuff we have on the channel. Our most recent upload is a, a little drop from our Patreon vault. We have a Patreon versus series to get access to on the $5 tier. Um, we dropped Cal Kestis versus Kylo Ren uh, for your viewing pleasure to keep people, uh, you know, uh, keep, keep eyes on the channel while I was taking my little breaky. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, be sure to do all the normal YouTube stuff and we will see you very, very soon. May the force be with you always. And this is the way. Stop. Move away from the cookie jar.